Have you ever wondered about the difference in image detail between the James Webb Space Telescope and the Hubble Space Telescope? Today, we're showcasing the latest and most detailed images of celestial bodies captured by both telescopes. Get ready to compare and discover the advancements in technology that have allowed us to uncover new information about the universe. Number 1. Neptune now, let's take a look at the latest images of Neptune, taken by the James Webb Space Telescope. The Webb image of Neptune is incredibly detailed and allows us to see the planet's cloud bands and storms with much greater clarity. We can see the Great Dark Spot, which was first observed by the Hubble in 1989, and we can also see small storms and vortices in the planet's atmosphere. The Webb image also provides a more accurate color representation of the planet, giving us a better understanding of the composition of Neptune's atmosphere. In this version of Webb's near-infrared camera image of Neptune, the planet's visible moons are labeled. Neptune has 14 known satellites, and seven of them are visible in this image. The Hubble image of Neptune is taken in the visible spectrum, and it shows a blue-green planet with a small bright spot. The image is less detailed and does not show as much detail in the cloud structures or the great dark spot as the Webb image. In conclusion, the latest image of Neptune taken by the James Webb Space Telescope is far more detailed, informative, and comprehensive than the Hubble Telescope image. Number 2. Jupiter A gas giant planet in our solar system, the Webb and Hubble images show different levels of detail and information about Jupiter. The Webb image of Jupiter is very detailed and shows the planet's great red spot the banded clouds, and the intricate details of the planet's atmosphere. The Webb image also provides a more accurate color representation of the planet, which helps scientists understand the composition of Jupiter's atmosphere. Additionally, the Webb advanced technology allows scientists to study Jupiter in greater detail and learn more about the planet's inner life. On the other hand, the Hubble image of Jupiter is taken in the visible spectrum and shows the great red spot, but the image is less detailed and does not show as much information about the planet's atmosphere as the Webb image. In conclusion, the Webb images of Jupiter are far more detailed and informative than those taken by the Hubble. The Webb advanced technology allows scientists to study Jupiter in greater depth and understand the planet's atmosphere and composition in a more accurate way. These images will help us to uncover the secrets of Jupiter. Number 3. Southern Ring Nebula The Webb image of the Southern Ring Nebula shows far more detail, including the structure and composition of the nebula's clouds, while the Hubble's image shows the overall shape and colors of the nebula. The Webb near-infrared camera image shows a white dwarf star partially hidden by a diffraction spike while the mid-infrared instrument image shows the same star, but brighter, larger, and redder. This is because the white dwarf is cloaked in thick layers of dust, which make it appear larger. The web ability to observe in the near-infrared and mid-infrared wavelengths allows it to see through dust clouds and study properties of stars and galaxies that would be invisible to other telescopes. On the other hand, the Hubble telescope's primary mirror is smaller, but it makes up for it with its advanced instruments, such as the Wide Field Camera 3, which allows it to capture high-resolution images of distant objects. Number 4. Protostar L1527 Introducing the stunning image of Protostar L1527, as captured by the James Webb Telescope. This image offers a detailed look at the protostar's structure and composition, including its inner disk and outflow. The intricate details of the protostar's clouds are clearly visible in this image, revealing new insights into the early stages of star formation. Now, let's compare this to the image of the same protostar captured by the Hubble telescope. While the Hubble's image offers a general overview of the protostar's shape and color, it is not able to detect the same level of detail as the Webb image. The inner disk and outflow are not visible in the Hubble's image, the Webb image offers a far more detailed view of the protostar and its surroundings, while the Hubble's image gives a general overview. Number 5. NGC 346 When it comes to capturing images of NGC 346, 
a beautiful star-forming region, the James Webb Telescope and the Hubble Telescope offer vastly different perspectives. The Webb image, taken with its near-infrared camera and mid-infrared instrument, shows intricate details of the nebulous structure and composition, including hues of purple and tones of yellow that outline the region's irregular shape. Many bright stars and countless smaller stars are visible, providing an in-depth look into the early stages of star formation. The Hubble image, on the other hand, offers a wider view of the overall shape and colors of the nebula. While it doesn't show the same level of detail as the Webb image, it still captures the beauty and grandeur of the star-forming region with its high-resolution images. The Hubble image shows bright stars and smaller stars scattered throughout the image's background. This comparison illustrates the difference in detail and capabilities of these two astronomical instruments. The Webb image offers a far more detailed view of the star-forming region and its surroundings, while the Hubble image gives a general overview. Number 6. Pillars of Creation The Pillars of Creation, a star-forming region in space, have never looked more breathtaking than in these two images. On the left, we have the Hubble telescope's visible light view, showcasing the impressive pillars rising from the bottom to the top of the screen, ending in three points. The background is like a sunrise, with a mix of yellows, greens, and blues, highlighting the thickness of the dust that surrounds the pillars, obscuring many more stars in the overall region. But now, take a look at the right image, captured by the James Webb Telescope's near-infrared capabilities. The pillars now appear semi-transparent and rusty red, with a background of deep blue hues, highlighting the hydrogen atoms and revealing an abundance of stars spread across the scene. The Webb image allows us to see through the thick dust clouds and study properties of stars and galaxies that would be invisible to other telescopes. It's clear to see the difference in image detail between these two powerful telescopes. The Webb telescope's near-infrared capabilities allow us to see through the dust and uncover new insights into the early stages of star formation. Number 7. The Webb image, taken with its near-infrared camera and mid-infrared instrument, shows intricate details of the galaxy cluster's structure and composition, including the distribution of dark matter and the properties of individual galaxies. The level of detail in the Webb image is truly astounding. On the other hand, the Hubble image of SMAX 0723 provides a panoramic view of the galaxy cluster, showcasing its vastness and the diversity of its member galaxies. While it doesn't show the same level of detail as the Webb image, it still captures the grandeur and beauty of the galaxy cluster. The Webb advanced instruments allow it to capture detailed images of galaxy clusters, providing valuable insights into the formation and evolution of galaxies. The Webb image also shows the galaxy cluster SMAX 0723, as it appeared 4.7 billion years ago, with many more galaxies in front of and behind the cluster. Much more about this cluster will be revealed as researchers begin digging into Webb's data. The Webb NearCam has brought distant galaxies into sharp focus. They have tiny, faint structures that have never been seen before, including star clusters and diffuse features. Light from these galaxies took billions of years to reach us. Number 8. The Phantom Galaxy Phantom Galaxy, also known as M74, captured by the James Webb Telescope and the Hubble Telescope. The Webb image shows intricate details of the galaxy's structure and composition, including delicate filaments of gas and dust in the grandiose spiral arms. The level of detail in the Webb image is truly astounding and provides valuable insights into the galaxy's formation and evolution. On the other hand, the Hubble Telescope's image of the Phantom Galaxy provides a panoramic view of the galaxy, showcasing its vastness and the diversity of its member stars. While it doesn't show the same level of detail as the Webb image, it still captures the grandeur and beauty of the galaxy. The Webb advanced instruments allow it to capture detailed images, while the Hubble image provides a wider view. The Phantom Galaxy is a particularly interesting target for astronomers as it is a grand design spiral, with well-defined spiral arms and located 32 million light years away from Earth in the constellation Pisces. Number 9. Cartwheel Galaxy The Cartwheel Galaxy is a unique and fascinating galaxy that was formed as a result of a high-speed collision that occurred about 400 million years ago. The James Webb Telescope and the Hubble Telescope 
have captured images of this galaxy, and when we compare them side by side, the difference in image detail is mind-boggling. The James Webb Telescope, using its near-infrared and mid-infrared camera instrument, has captured intricate details of the galaxy's structure and composition. The level of detail is truly astounding, and it provides valuable insights into the formation and evolution of galaxies. On the other hand, the Hubble Telescope's image provides a panoramic view of the galaxy, showcasing its vastness and diversity of its member stars. While it doesn't show the same level of detail as the Webb image, it still captures the grandeur and beauty of the galaxy. The Cartwheel Galaxy is composed of two rings, a bright inner ring and a colorful outer ring. Both rings expand outward from the center of the collision like shock waves. The Webb image shows the delicate filaments of gas and dust in the galaxy's outer ring and the bright red streaks, known as spokes, that inspired the name of the Cartwheel Galaxy. The Hubble image provides a broader view of the galaxy, showcasing its vastness and diversity of its member stars. That's it for today's comparison of the James Webb Space Telescope and the Hubble Telescope images. We hope you enjoyed this journey and learned more about the advancements in technology. The James Webb Telescope has provided detailed images of celestial bodies like Neptune, Jupiter, Southern Ring Nebula, and Protostar L1527. We look forward to seeing more from this powerful telescope in the future. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the stars and see you next time.